Massachusetts is the home of so many amazing sports legends. The Red Sox have Ted Williams, the Celtics have Larry Bird, the Bruins have Bobby Orr, and we watch history in the making every Sunday when Tom Brady takes the field. Here in Hopkinton, the Hillers have you. You have set the standard for what it means to be a Hiller. For Ed Hayes and Aubrey Doyle Sr. and was all league his senior year as well as most valuable player. Coach Doyle recalls Albie as a very good football player, tough and fast. He led the team in scoring. Albie went on to play at Maine Maritime and earn his marine engineering degree there. As a basketball player, he was very proficient at scoring from his forward position. His quickness and tenacity made him a defensive standout. He played for Joe Amersino. He was also an all-around gymnastic performer on the rings, parallel bars, floor exercise, and pommel horse. As an outfielder and captain in baseball, he was again the MVP his senior year. He could hit, steal bases, and track down fly balls with the best of them. He was a great athlete of the 1960s at Hopkins High School. However, Albie's con contribution to HHS did not stop on the athletic fields. He was a member of the student council and a class officer, and was also good to have a catch or sink a free throw, and continued to golf well into, well into her 70s. And from all accounts, she was still golfing very well in her 70s. Accepting for Mary tonight is her daughter, Catherine. Congratulations. <laughs> a decade from Hopkinton, but her legacy of service is remembered here tonight with in her induction into the Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Sue. And unfortunately, she, Sue was unable to join us tonight, um, but we definitely appreciate everything that she did. Next up, Duncan Hamilton, 1967, class of 1967. Duncan, Duncan P. Hamilton represents the middle of one of Hopkins' few three-generation sport families. He is inducted tonight along with his father, Duncan, and is the proud father of sons that played in the Dave Hughes era of football dominance. My three sons, my wife, my granddaughter. You know, it's great to have family, but one other thing I'd like to do, or a few other things, when I grew up in this town, it wasn't just a town. It was a family. You went out, everybody kept an eye on you. They praised you, you know. And like Albie said, or someone said earlier, there were the football, maybe it was Mr. Welch, I mean Mr. Hughes, said there were always the football games that we played. In the fall was football. We had big backyards, we played baseball. We didn't have organized sports, but that's where it started. And the same with Chick Welch, who you've heard mentioned here tonight. When I was in elementary school, he was our gym teacher. He started me with the love of football. He was outstanding at quarterback, running back, and in the defensive backfield. He also returned kicks and punts with an elusive running style that reminded many of his father's crossfield runs from 30 years or earlier. He was selected captain his senior year and was awarded the South Middlesex Daily News MVP award. In the winter, Charlie played basketball for Coach Ken Burt. He was the point guard who led the team in assists and a tenacious defender who earned the Mr. Hustle award. When the snow melted, or usually before, Charlie continued with Coach Burt on the baseball diamond. He was a smooth fielding shortstop with a strong arm. Offensively, Charlie batted early in the lineup, carried a high batting average every year, was a threat to steal at any time, and was known to have pretty good pop in his bat. Obviously, coaching is critical to any team, and I see a few coaches out there, and I commend you all for coaching. If you haven't coached, please do so. It's very rewarding. Next, I'd like to thank my teammates. All the, all the sports I played were all team sports, and I wouldn't be here without them. Back in the early 70s, we didn't have a lot of depth, especially on football. There was so, many, so every play was very key. Like most ball teams, we were close, and it meant a lot to me. Growing up, I went to elementary school, I went to St. Tarsicius and Framingham the first six years, so I didn't have a lot of friends in town. So basically, <clears throat> once town baseball started, I started meeting more people. I met the Stickneys, Dorans, Neelans, Flannerys, and many more.